Okay, so uh, the observer. So the thing with the observer is to recognize, first of all, I'll do the usual thing, which is the, the mug. So this is a mug. If you'll notice with a mug, it's being, the mug is an object. All objects have like a, a shape. So that which is so that which is so everyone is observing the mug. Is anyone confused that they are the mug? No one's confused. So also the thing with the mug is that it's a meaningless object, which is important. So with a meaningless object, it's very easy to see to experience detached observation from something which is meaningless or a neutral obje object. There is no confusion uh, that the, uh, the object, no one is confused that the object can be what they are. There is clear observing. So the next thing is, what about thoughts? Also, yeah, I forgot to mention, with the mug, if I, if I, if I move the mug from one side to another, one is still not the mug. And if then something is passing before you, and it's observed, it's still not you, because it's passing. And even if I hide the mug, you're not, still one is not the observer of the mug. Yeah. So thoughts, thoughts are passing by. You know, thoughts, by, there can be many thoughts, there can be few thoughts, they pass by. So that, so the next thing is to realize, is one one's thoughts? Or is there observing of thoughts? So, is there observing of thoughts? Good. Okay. Is there detached observing of thoughts? Good. So, there'll be space. There'll be clear recognition that thoughts pass by, but the witnesser of thoughts is not thoughts. So, that clarity. The next thing is feelings that arise in consciousness. Feelings which are observed or witnessed to, ar to arise in the past. Like, is there, is there any feeling or sensation here? that's arising, then this, this uh, sensation or this feeling that's arising, is it, is it observed? Yeah, okay, so that's very clear. See, because feelings, they, sometimes they come and they go, or sometimes they fluctuate, but what's observing them coming and going? What's observing them fluctuating? So the observer of their change cannot be the change. So that which witnesses them come and go, that which witnesses them fluctuating, is not the thing that's being observed. So then there's clarity on feelings. So feelings are observed, uh, thoughts are observed, thank you. Um, next is location. Is there a sense of location? Is there an experiencing of location? If there is an experience of location now, what's observing the location? The observer. Yes. Is the observer located? No. no. Good. So if there is a sense of location, be the observing of the location, and then it's experienced that the observer of location is not in location. Okay. Is there any experience of time? Is there some kind of tracking of time or some awareness of time? No. Okay. So that which observes, that which observes time Time does not exist in that which is witnessing time. So we have thoughts, we have feelings, feelings come and go, thoughts come and go, the awareness of time comes and goes, the awareness of location, maybe here or not here. So then the thing is, in this experiencing of witnessing, is, this is the witnesser in any way, is there any experience of limitation or contraction, any experience of any form of limitation in the witnessing. No. Okay, so, so when there is witnessing, the witnesser of all things that can come and go, the time doesn't exist, thoughts doesn't, do not exist, location doesn't exist, time doesn't exist, it's timeless. It's eternal, it's limitless. 